Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So before I get into today's video at all, um, I just want to kind of talk about how I hope things will be going from here on out. Um, I have been away from this for a while, um, work, all that kind of stuff, but I should be getting back into it a little more regularly now, so I should be able to put a video out at least once a week. So. Going forward, that's what I'm hoping to be able to do. So, uh, to jump right into today's video, jumping right into ARCA at uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway, uh, racing the uh, Jack Daniels livery. Uh, we're in qualifying right now. We're on my first qualifying lap. First lap was pretty good, but the second lap is even better. Really started to get a feel for the car. I put in a lot of practice. Um, I had a race actually before this as well. So I've had a chance to really get a feel for the car, get a good setup going, and see how I really liked how the car felt. Um, so at this point, things were feeling good. The car didn't feel too loose. I managed to get it so that I wasn't sliding too much in the corners, wasn't losing a lot of traction. So with the two times I put up, they managed to put me uh, in P2. So I qualified in second place uh, for the start of the race. As you can see, rolling right into it. A uh, good rolling start. Myself and uh, the number 20 uh, on the front row. We managed to have a pretty good uh, little battle going on a little bit later on uh, after the race starts for a solid, you know, two or three laps uh, at a time. It happens a couple times. We also have uh, the Wonder Bread uh, number 10 behind me uh, repping the Ricky Bobby uh, livery there. But yeah, I was excited to get back into some solid uh, oval racing. Um, I've been trying to get back into it, like I said work uh, and just life kind of getting in the way. Didn't really have time to do this, but I'm excited to be back doing this now. So pace car's off and right away, green light hits and I go to shift and I have a massive uh, miss shift. Um, completely missed the shift. So uh, yeah, the number 13 gets ahead of me. The number 10 jumps ahead, but I got a good enough uh, jump once I actually got it into fourth uh, that I was able to keep um, the next group of cars behind me. So things aren't off to the best start. Obviously moving from second to fourth isn't a huge deal, but in this case it was for me. Uh, the number two, uh, right on my tailpipe, <laughs> then uh, yeah, uh, nice bright lime green uh, car decides to just kind of take a little bit of a spill, goes across the grass, moves me back up into third, and the number 20 is just, he's gone. He's, uh, at this point, I think he had like a solid like four seconds um, on both myself and uh, the number 10. Now, the number 10, I wasn't more than a second off behind him pretty much this entire time uh, for the first few laps, but as things start progressing, um, I do start losing them a little bit. I was lucky enough to be close enough that I could actually get a good draft from them. But uh, as you can see too, the cars behind me were starting to lose the pack, uh, which is definitely a good thing for me. I was happy about that. Uh, anytime you can f you know, see that you're starting to pull away, that's always a good sign. Uh, it means I was getting good speed through the corners, wasn't losing a lot of speed. Um, I got a really good feel over the last, like the race that I did before this, as well as probably worth an hour and a half worth of practice. I really got a good feel for the car and the setup I was running. Uh, for this particular race, for this track, I was running a 16 to 1 uh, ratio uh, for steering, negative uh, 15 offset, and I basically put my brake bias down as low as I can because I wasn't going to be braking. Uh, so I think it was at 60% for the front brake, uh, brake bias. Um, really felt good. The car felt really responsive. I wasn't sliding a whole lot once I got things uh, sorted out. Uh, as you can see, we're already passing uh, one of the uh, back markers there. I think he might have taken a spill earlier. Um, 
because there was no way we actually caught up to the pack that quick as you can see the rest of them are behind me um, but no things felt good the card felt great um, raw, uh, repping the number three today uh, for this race uh, normally I like to run the number 57 uh, just what I usually ran uh, when I raced in uh, the leagues and stuff before for Sidewinder um, but it was already taken uh, so I ran the number 3 in the Jack Daniels car but things seemed to be going well right from the start even though we had that misshift um, it wasn't actually as bad as I thought I managed to rectify it like as soon as I could and get back in this race as you can see, we're starting to, you know, drop back from uh, the number 10. He just managed to carry better speed through the corners. Um, I thought I was doing okay, and I was. I wasn't doing bad. I wasn't losing. I was still every lap consistently putting a gap and a, uh, increasing the gap between myself uh, and the rest of the pack behind me. But I just wasn't carrying enough speed through, I guess, to actually start gaining on him enough to really um, catch up to him now here and there you'll see I get a little bit closer uh, that was a lot to do with uh, the actual drafting of him and getting close enough that I could cut through some of the air a little bit cleaner um, and a little bit better but I never really got close enough to actually overtake him and to try to pass him um, without any external factors now as you can see the number 20, uh, he ran the high line almost every time through all the through the turns every time almost, uh, which he was able to do it. He was running it fine, but then as you can see now, we're catching up to him. Like he almost gets passed here uh, by the number 10, and we're right back into this fight again. Uh, he managed to. It looked like he managed to slow down quite a bit through those corners because he didn't carry. Or he went too high, ran too high, was going to hit the wall, uh, and had to drop a lot of speed. And we caught up to him. Like as you can see here, they're side by side, obviously coming up to uh, the back of the pack. Not ideal uh, for this kind of scenario, but you know, it's racing. You gotta do what you can, even though there's yeah, there's back markers and there's cars that are. At the back of the pack and you're getting ready to lap them you just got to do it you got to kind of get comfortable and confident enough with the car as you can see like i was pulling right up behind him um on these straights i managed to catch up to him a lot a couple of the corners uh through turns one uh and usually the back of like the end of turn two is where i was getting a lot of speed uh through here but then on turn three and four that's where i tended to lose it uh and i tried to catch up as much as I could but I just couldn't make the car work um, and I couldn't hit the right uh, angle in the turn like as you can see I managed to run a little bit wide uh, had to drop some speed uh, to avoid running into the wall so that put a bigger gap between um, myself and the number 10 and from you can see here from kind of that like helicopter blimp kind of view we managed to keep it close uh, for the first, you know, probably good 10, 15 laps of the race. Um, so it was a really close, it was a really exciting race for me, especially being one of my first ones back in oval racing. Uh, I wanted to do street stocks, but I was like, no, you know what? I want to jump right into it. Uh, trial by fire, see how I feel and how I can run. The race before this didn't go so well. Um, finished like 14th, qualified in 10th, right at the beginning, uh, first lap, first turn, I had a guy that seemed like he had it out for me the whole race, uh, he hit me the first time, then when I tried to limp my car back to the pits, he decided to come and just hit me again for no reason, even though we were both almost out of the race, and as you can see, number 10, he made a move, um, uh, he's now got the lead, he is now in first place. And the number 20 is trying to get that back. Um, and while they're battling, hopefully that's going to give me a chance to catch up. Because while those two are fighting, trying to you know duke it out for the position, hopefully they're not going to focus on me and that gives me a chance to just try to do as much as I can to catch up.
Uh, but, as I was saying, last race, I think someone just had it out for me. And, really, um, it just didn't end well. As soon as we both back, got back on the track, uh, I was going to let him by so that he would stop trying to rear end me and trap, stop trying to, you know, basically spin me out, which he kept doing. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't pass me. So, um, I just kind of had to make it work. As you can see here, number 20 runs through uh, one of the cars there. There was a bit of a wreck, and I just fly right by him here. Uh, then I start to lose speed in the corner, obviously, again. So he's going to start catching up right again. So I never actually held second place for very long uh, this entire race. I managed to move up once or twice into second, passing the number 20. But I uh, never actually held it uh, for more than a lap or two at a time. Just it seemed three and four, turns three and four is where I uh, I really struggled. But uh, I'm gonna keep racing here. Uh, it's almost by the end. By the time this uh, video goes up, it should be. I believe it's like the end of week eleven. There's like thirteen weeks this season. If I'm not wrong, I might be. If I am, correct me, please. But it's coming to the end of the week um, for this season. Or week 11 of season whatever um, so I'm going to try to race a little bit more here get comfortable get used to uh, racing with the uh, Arca series again but on the high note well as you can see here we're running through some of the uh, back of the pack now and the 20 car and I were still just trying to I'm trying to get ahead of him as much as I can. But I do catch up quite a bit here. We're getting a really good draft on him. And I'm going to try to make a move to the inside. Uh, going through turns one and two. And I make it work. Because that's where I was able to actually get a lot of good traction. And have a good exit of uh, turn one and two. And I move back up into second again. But as you can see, he's really, really gaining. Uh, he never really drops back. And I lose a little bit of speed coming through three and four again and I run a little bit high. He's going to take the inside and just go right by again. Coming through the straights, he's got the better speed. He had a better exit of the turn, so he gets uh, second place again. But yeah, so with my license now, uh, running, in, running Class D right now uh, for both road and oval, but uh, as you will see through this video and a couple of other videos that are going up, I will now have a Class C license in both oval and road because over the last few days uh, I've done a pretty good job with racing. Uh, I've had a good uh, a good race here uh, with this uh, with the NASCAR, and I've had a couple good road races, which you'll get to see uh, as they come out um, whenever they come out. Hopefully next week. So, um, as you can see, we're running, uh, <laughs> we're running pretty strong. We're still in third. Um, we never actually got back up in the second again after this. But, coming through the back of the pack is always kind of a fun thing. Uh, can be a little stressful, especially when you see, like, the green car ran up. Uh, I think that's, like, the monster energy drink car if I'm not wrong or it could be the other green car that spun out at the beginning but when he ran up into the wall I was like oh boy here we go because they've got their own fight going on um, and you're trying not to get caught up in that so I'm at, at this point I know I'm probably not going to catch up I get a little bit of a, an advantage here because we have to run through some of the back markers some of the back of the pack uh, so hopefully it's going to slow uh, the uh, number 20 down a little bit but he manages just to <laughs> kind of slice and dice go through them uh, like butter uh, with no problems so essentially yeah I try my best at this point um, he just lets me by 22 told me to pass left so I just went by I thanked him for it 
to make it a little bit of an easier race, but now I got to deal with 13 and 7. Um, so coming onto the straights and through the turns is where I really tried to get. The straights is one thing because you can draft fairly easily, but when you're going through a turn, um, you're trying to keep as much traction as possible while maintaining as much speed, but you don't want to push it uh, too, too much and then end up spinning it and losing it. Uh, like I had a little bit of a slide. But we're just going to easily go past the number 13. I didn't have a fight with him. He didn't have a fight with me, so he just let me go by. Um, I was like He ran into the wall there again. I think he's carrying too much speed through the corners and on the exits. So he just keeps running into the wall. But I was very appreciative of everyone uh, that wasn't in the lead pack for you know making it an easy race for the race leaders so that we're not you know banging into them they're not banging into us they're not trying to make the race harder on us and we're trying to make it uh as enjoyable for them as well because they're still in the race yeah i was in the lead pack and yes i'm fighting for a podium yeah some of these people aren't but at the same time they're still in the race i'm not going to do anything to try to make their race any worse I'm not going to try to bump into them hit them spin them out if someone does that on their own or they you know i'm not gonna do all that kind of stuff but coming across the finish line end of the race here p3 third place I think that's a pretty respectable uh, finish for like my second race back in the oval um, racing, you know, kind of genre racing NASCARs, especially the ARCA cars because they're pretty fast compared to the street stocks. But like I said, I'm hoping to pump some more of these videos out, uh, hopefully weekly. Um, and if you guys like what you see, please hit the like. Uh, uh, subscribe button and leave a comment let me know what you think and i'll keep pumping these out as much as i can thank you all so much for tuning in i always appreciate the support and we will see you in the next video have a great day everyone bye bye